Okay, I just wanted to show you guys a little um, a little tip that I learned on soldering this uh, this tiny little coax. Um, the uh, the center pen on an SMA can be can be a bear to uh, to get the solder in and clean um, so that it still fits into the uh, into the little hole through the the main uh, the main screw on piece. So uh, so here we go. The soldering iron's uh, heating up, and we should be ready here. Pardon the uh, messy table, but first thing is, you got a piece of cardboard laying around. You just take your 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 little SMA pin. Camera's not going to focus. I'm just using my cell phone, but um, and and just stick it in a piece of cardboard, and then hopefully you've got this kind of solder, um, just the real thin thin wire, not silver solder, uh, regular lead, lead solder, um, and a little set of uh, side cutters. And all we're going to do is, it just so happens that this solder is the right size, as long as it's not going to make me a liar. Yeah, it's the right size to just barely fit in, in the, uh, in the pin. So you stick a little bit down in there, not not the full length of it, but just just a little bit, and you cut it off, and and then it's it's full of solder now. So now what we can do is we can we can heat that up and and push the 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 center conductor of our coax in. So I think soldering iron should be should be hot. Yep. And this soldering iron is like the worst thing, but but it'll it'll work for now. It's it's not pretty, but it gets hot. That's the important part. So the cool thing is now all you need is two hands, because you know instead of like four. <laughs> so here we go. Let's see if I can make this work. Now you don't want to heat up the the pin too much, because I've heard that it'll crack. I've never had it had it happen to me, but. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna heat up the uh, the center conductor a little bit first, just to kind of get everything everything warm. And now I'm gonna go, and it happens pretty dang quick. I'm just gonna, oh god, and there we go. Okay. Not too bad. Not the cleanest. I've got a little glob of solder. I wish this thing would focus. I've got a little glob of solder on the side there, so I'm just going to take my cutters and uh, just clip that off. It comes off pretty, pretty decent. These are uh, real flush side cutters. They they the one end is is totally totally smooth and then the other end is beveled so makes uh these are just vice grip brand uh makes things cutting flush you know with, with getting close to something pretty easy but uh but yeah so there 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 that is and then this should then fit right over top pretty easily can just push that Push that in. So now the 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 tip is is uh, right flush with the end, and now I should be able to um, heat this up and and get the shield part soldered. Let's see if I can make this happen. Rotate. Oh, 
lots of lots of solder on there. Looks pretty good. It's uh, a little globby, but I'd rather have too much than not enough if we're if we're being picky. And my heat shrink did start to shrink down, but as long as it's still warm. I can kind of force it down over the top. And then uh, if you got a heat gun available, you can use a heat gun. Or So I just kind of force it down over the top there. And then uh, if you don't have a heat gun available, you can kind of use the, the joint here in between your, your uh, soldering iron. As long as you keep it moving, you kind of do this and it'll, it'll uh, shrink everything down pretty quick. As long as you keep it moving, you shouldn't burn a hole in anything. Okay. So there we go. Just took a, uh, just took a, um, an RP SMA uh, Spironet uh, that I've beat up quite a bit and had the the uh, the original original bottom of it here. Ooh, that's hot! Oh, piece I just soldered is burning a hole in my hand. Um, but yeah, this original bottom piece here. It, I mean, you can kind of see the the heat shrinks all all torn up. Um, so it, it it had been flexed probably one too many times. It it still worked, but um yeah not not the best uh removing points of potential failure um so so and then with the new um the new extension that i put on my vtx for the for the space one pod um um i needed uh, an sma instead of rp sma so i decided to make this a stubby get rid of that old piece of coax and uh and switch it over to to sma so now I just need to like maybe 3D print a new cap for this or something. Maybe just some hot glue. But there it is. Yay. Have fun. Fly safe.